lineup that is stocked with talent. Yeah, they're already talking World Series. Maybe premature, but anyway. And speaking of talent. That's right. John <laughs> Gonzalez and Julie Wright are both out there checking on the early action, and you have an important guest right now, John and Julie. Very important, and I gotta say, it made my day. The principal owner, Mark Lerner, is actually impressed that I have an old school jersey back from 2005. He said, wow, that's an original from the inaugural year. You were impressed. The question is, would he still get it on about? <laughs> that's a good point. And you may know, I this is my fourth wardrobe change of the day so far. Yeah. So I'm on my second. <laughs> I got this little cold before. <laughs> How exciting is this? Ten years, we were just reminiscing about that first game. Vinny Castilla hitting the first ever home run and Levon on the mound. How special has this been for you? It's, it's, it's just quite, been quite a journey, you know. We we started uh, with a franchise that uh, wasn't quite up to standards, and uh, we've we've come a long way. It's ten years. Oh, yeah. Not only have we made the playoffs, but we I think we've built an organization that's committed to excellence, and uh, every year, not just you know once in a while. So uh, we're, we're 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 very proud of what we've accomplished. And we've been going through the trivia. We've been asking our viewers yeah. trivia. You weren't stumped at all. I mean, I mean these. It's hard to these stump were just, this guy. No, no, no curveballs for you. Well, yeah. <laughs> you knew the the first ever recorded hit by who? Uh, Brad Brad Wilkerson. First game here in D.C. Uh, April 14, 2005, against the Arizona Diamondbacks. Score? That's a good question. I think it was like four to one, if I, something like that. Five to three. Five to five three. three. Okay. But come on. We won. Wow. We, won. we won. That's all you need to know, right? <laughs> and then what was the, the uh, record? The final record? The final 80, record. 80, 81 and 80. 500. Not bad. Not a bad first year. At, yeah. At the halfway point, then I, we were in first. Then remember, I stumped you on what the record was at the halfway point. You stumped me all the time. That's not hard to do. <laughs> Julie's got a question about yeah, the future I'm, stuff since well, we're talking about the past. Yeah, we're talking about the past, but I heard there's been some reports. But the All-Star Game is coming here in 2018. Well, let's put it this way. We've been, we've been uh, lobbying Commissioner Steele since 2006, and now Commissioner Manfred. Uh -huh. we've, uh, I think we've har harassed them to death. <laughs> right. And uh, we're passionate about getting it. But until you know, Commissioner Manfred says something, it's just speculation. Well, That's today's it? a good chance because he's throwing the first pitch, isn't he? Yeah, he's throwing the first pitch. You know, he has a long history in Washington. He yeah. practiced law here for nine years. Wow. So uh, we, we, it's funny. I texted him during the last owners' meeting. I said, yeah. "Would you throw your first pitch as uh, commissioner in, in National Park?" And if I were sitting in the meeting, he'd be delighted to. So we're very excited to have him here. See, today. when you get him on a yes, that's when you say, <laughs> "Can the All-Star Game come here?" No, he? I, you know, we got to the point with Commissioner Seal like that. He just see me come and he go, "I know, All-Star Game." So uh, <laughs> we, we, we've been working at it. One of these, one of these days, it'll get announced. How? What do you say we focus on a World Series okay. before we talk about okay. that All-Star Game? Oh yeah. Uh, I, I take them one at a time. I, our goal was just to make the playoffs, and then we'll see what happens. There's a lot of luck involved, injuries, mm -hmm. and balls got to drop in when they're supposed to. But uh, you know, that's, uh, that's the goal every year: make, make the playoffs and see what happens. I have a special yeah. feeling, and it's not just because I was drinking the IPA, the new beer here <laughs> in the park. I feel like something special is going to happen this year. Mark Lerner, <laughs> principal owner thank of you your much. Washington Nationals. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank Any you. questions for the uh, principal owner here? Um, what, talk about uh, the contribution fans make when, uh, when the team is playing in front of a packed house, not just uh, opening day or playoffs or when a, 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 a rival's coming to town, but just day in, day out. Day in, day out, the contribution fans make. The, 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 the yeah, what do the fans bring to the table? Having the stadium mm -hmm. packed day in, day out. I, I tell you, look where we were back in 2005 when we didn't have a fan base. A lot of baseball lovers, right. not necessarily Nationals fans, and what's been cool over the 10 year period is they're more and more red, more and more the, the, the Nationals are our team. And we've really truly built a fan base from nothing. So we're very proud of that. And, you know, they, they make a big difference when, when it's loud in here. And uh, keep, you know, keep it coming, wear your red, and uh, scream loud for the Nats. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, the guy Mark. that's impossible to stop. Absolutely. <laughs> Back to you guys inside. All right. Nice uh, preview of the big day ahead. Thank Fantastic. you, John, Julie, and uh, President Mark Lerner of the team. Good to see everybody out there. Should be a great day. Indeed. News Channel 8 will be live at the ballpark all day long on this opening day. So keep it here for continuing coverage before, during, and after the game. First pitch at 4.05 this afternoon. Mm -hmm.